Go to said G, Cool Key, <laughs> TR yeah. Love. Everybody has their own mind. And myself, <laughs> DJ JC. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, you good. You I know. Full link. Okay. You, know, you got to plug in the one, and you get there. Okay, all right. Yeah. Questions, questions. I know we got 3Ds sleeping over there. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> so let me ask you, you're definitely known as a yeah. boy using 12 and known as one of the people who really innovated, like using it to chop beats up instead of just looping them. Can you describe the process of how you learned to master that instrument and work with it? Well, that's the thing. Uh, the SB-12 was like a, a, a gift to me because, you know, at that time, the technology was so primitive. Even with the SB-12 now, it seems like a dinosaur, but at that time, it was like, wow, they got a box where you could take the record and do what you want with it. But a lot of cats, they just use it basically as a copying machine. Whereas I saw it, like I said, you can do what you want because you had your little multi-pitch things and all of this and all of that. So my thing was, was once again, there are no rules. You can take a record. And I used to love if there was something mixed on something because when you chop it up and do something, you get some crazy funky type thing happening you know premiere kind of capitalized off of that he did his thing but that was the thing was there was no rules you chop a snare if it had a guitar on top of it violin you just make it work and that's that's basically what i was i was inspired when i got my sb12 i actually stayed in the crib two weeks reading the manual practicing reading the manual practicing there was nothing else on my mind you know, I, I could, you know, I played a lot of ball, shut that down, wasn't taking no phone calls from chicks, nothing. It was just <laughs> me and the SB12 till I had that down pat. And then I met up with uh, Paul C. And Paul was in tune with it too. So we basically was sharing secrets with each other. Like, yo, if you do this, then Paul hits I'm like, yo, how you did that, son? I said, well, you do this. So that was that was a beautiful relationship, too. You know, that was another person who was slept on the hip-hop. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a legendary, yeah. forgotten, yeah. historical figure in hip-hop. Yeah, Paul C., can you talk more about what he was like? Paul hooked up a lot of stuff people didn't know. Like, he did the Let the Rhythm Hit Him, Rock Him Joint. He did a lot of the Super Love C stuff. He did a lot of stuff with a lot of groups that... Cause Paul was the type of engineer, like if he, if you came in there and you was doing your session and it was weak, Paul would just call time out and go to his record collection and pull out something and put it on there and, and add life to it. That's how Paul was. And you know, you don't have engineers like that no more. So that was really, he was one of a kind. And it was sad when that happened, but you know, that's life. One of the one of the mysteries that has been like endlessly debated is that give us give the drummer some the yeah. beat the beat that he hooked up there. Yeah. How did he get those drums? Well, what it was, like I said, we all had. A, he he was the first cat I think who found out if you pan a record, mm -hmm. especially a lot of the old school records, that sometimes the drum tracks would be just isolated on one side and all the music would be on the other side. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing, like a lot of cats use it over, you know, chub rock, and, mm -hmm. but nobody just had the beat. Mm -hmm. You know, they took the whole loop. Mm -hmm. But Paul, you know, he panned it and found the drums on one side. It's just banging. I mean, that, yeah. that track yeah. to this day. I mean, that's another thing about yourself, I think, is, is slept on for a lot of people. What you were touching on earlier is that you actually were one of the first people to isolate kicks and snares and a lot of those drum sounds now i heard rumors of discs you know going this way and that way with nah. different people but a lot of those drum sounds on the, on the yeah. bdp album in particular yeah you know are fundamental hip-hop kicks and snares exactly